an off-duty paramedic helped one of the two teenagers who were mauled by a shark in North Carolina on Sunday afternoon. The girl was actively bleeding out of two limbs, Marie Hildreth, of Charlotte, North Carolina, told WCNC. The attacks occurred on a beach in Oak Island, North Carolina, a town about 30 miles from Wilmington. I took strings off somebody's tent and somebody's boogie board to get the bleeding stopped and then once we had proper tourniquet case, we put the proper tourniquet case on, she told the news outlet. It's another day at work, I guess, it's what we're supposed to do, she said. It's something that I've trained to do, and I'm just glad my training was able to work today. Hildreth adds, I just hope her family is okay, and I really hope she's okay. The 13-year-old girl had her left arm amputated below the elbow. She also might lose her left leg, Oak Island Mayor Betty Wallace said in a Facebook post. The 16-year-old boy who was bitten by a shark in a separate attack on the same day had an arm amputated below the shoulder. New Hanover Regional Medical Center Hospital officials, according to NBC Wilmington affiliate Twecht, confirmed both teenagers are recovering in the hospital and are in fair condition after undergoing surgeries. Several calls were placed to 911 after the shark attacks. The first attack was called in at 4.12 p.m., and the second was called in around 5.30 p.m., according to WGHP Fox 8. We need an ambulance now. One woman shouted during a call to 911. His arm is gone. Another woman yelled. There is serious bleeding. This is the third shark bite incident that has been reported in Brunswick County in recent days. Another 13-year-old was reportedly injured in a shark attack Thursday in Ocean Isle Beach, according to Wecht. The teen was bitten while riding a boogie board 20 miles up the coast from where Sunday's attacks occurred.